So we're going to go from this image to this animation and I'll go through what I did and how I got this result. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you about a little experiment I did involving EV Synth and Blender. Yeah, if you didn't know, sometimes I do a bit of 3D modelling. Here's an example of what I did a while ago. Here's the first thing I did. I made a 3D model of my interpretation of the original sprite in 3D. So you can see the sites at the back, how they don't actually seem to be useful. But that's how I interpret the sprite. And then um, I just animated it in 3D, just like this. So I rendered it out frame by frame, just like this. And then with Eevee Synth, using this as a keyframe, I ended up with this. As you can see, there's a bit of distortion on it, and the reason why that is is because I had lighting applied to the model. On this version, I used a noise texture, with, which wasn't affected by lighting. And here's the animation, frame by frame. And that gave me a much cleaner result. Because I wanted to see how it looked in game, I decided to pick my favorite keyframes and then import them into Slade. and then the fireframes and then did a bit of decorate so this is for GZ Doom so I made it replace the chainsaw and this is what it looks like in game so yeah I think this is a really cool way of animating and I can definitely see it become a thing in the future perhaps maybe because both Blender and EV Synth are free, you just have to learn how to 3D model. That's the only hurdle, really. If you ever come up with anything using this method, let me know. And that's all, so thanks for watching.